Um, today we're going to be looking at creating a Instagram post with a scrolling progress bar at the bottom. It's really simple to do. Um, we're going to dive straight into Premiere Pro. I'm going to show you exactly how to do it. Um, it's really simple. So let's get started. Right, so I've opened up a new project window within Premiere Pro, as you can see here. Um, so the first thing we need to do is import our footage. So I'm going to drag in this video that I uploaded few days ago and we're going to start a new sequence so if you click on this small new item tab at the bottom so what we're going to do is we're going to go into the settings and we want this to be 1080 by 1080 which is going to give us a square aspect ratio um, which is ideal for Instagram, okay? Now the video that we're importing is a 16 by nine standard um, video aspect ratio. Um, we're gonna look now at how to put that into this video with colored title bars and scrolling progress bar. So as you can see here, we've got the square video frame. So that's a bit boring. So what we're going to do, first of all, we'll import our footage onto the timeline. We'll keep the existing settings. As you can see, it doesn't fit. So what we're going to do is click on the clip. Now up in the effect controls, we'll go to scale and we'll scale that down until it fits in. Now I'm actually going to make this bigger. There we go, the beginning of my intro has actually got black bars. So if we go to the middle somewhere like this and then go to scale, there we go. So that gives us bars top and bottom, but I think we'll go slightly bigger, 57 should do it. Now it looks a bit boring, black at the top, black at the bottom. So what we want to do is create a color mat so a new item create color mat uh, all these settings want to be the same as our sequence so click ok and here we can choose a color um, and we can have anything we want i'm going to go something nice and bright we'll go yellow like that name that yellow this is going to be our background okay now when you imported your video, you need to make sure it's on video track two. If it's not, if you put it on the first one, you just want to click on it and drag up. And then you can pull your yellow color mat underneath. You need to make sure it's underneath. And then zoom into this a bit. And we can just drag that yellow mat out across the video. And as you can see, it's all gone yellow, which is very bright. Okay. So as you can see, this gives us room at the top. We can put some text um, in the standard kind of way text would be on an Instagram post. So all I've done is click text here, dragged out a box. Um, we're gonna go center. size we go 150 see what this is like first and we're gonna put my insta video oh oh there we go it's just that moved try again my instagram video Okay, and then we can grab these handles, just drag it down a bit. It's a little bit big, so we'll resize that down just till it fits in. 
something like that. Okay, and then if you click on this box here, this will make sure that the text is center. So there we go, we've got some text at the top. In fact, we'll uh, change the color on that to black. So it stands out, okay, and we'll put a white stroke and we'll even put a shadow on. There we go, that looks a little bit better. Okay, so now at the bottom, we want a progress bar. So the way we do that is the same way that we created this um, yellow background color map. We're now gonna create another color map that's not the same size as the sequence. So again, clicking on new item and then color mat. On this, we want the width to be 1080, the same as the video, but the height, we're gonna reduce that down to probably about five I'm gonna go for. Click OK. And again, we can choose a color. I'm going to go red. That should stand out on this yellow. OK. And I'll choose red for the name. And we can now see that in the project window. So now we'll drag that over and we want that on top of everything else. So we'll drag that onto the top and stretch it out for the length of your video. You need to do that for the text layer as well that we created. Let's do that now quickly. There we go. Right, so make sure your red bar is selected in the timeline, and then you can come up to the position in the effect controls. And we're gonna move that down by just clicking on the position tab and dragging sideways. Now you can position this wherever you'd like. I'm gonna go just below there so there's a bit of a board around it. And that should be perfect. Okay. Now what we want is for when the video is finished to so that red bar to be there. So again on the position tab, we now want to click the stopwatch icon and drag that all the way to the end of this part of the timeline. So that's created a keyframe at the end to say this is the position for the progress bar at the end of the clip. What we're now gonna do is change the position and we're gonna click on the first set of numbers, which is your horizontal position and we're gonna drag left. And as you can see, that progress bar starts to move off the screen and you want to move it so it's just off there okay and as you can see that's created a new um, keyframe right where your pointer is so click on that and drag it all the way to the beginning of your timeline and now as the video plays through you can see the time, the progress bar slowly fills up. It's as simple as that. As you can see, this effect also allows you to um, add text at the bottom if you wanted to caption your video. Um, you, you could obviously, you could zoom in more, have a smaller or bigger progress bar. Um, but this is the gist on quite an easy effect um, so I hope you found this useful uh, please click like subscribe if you haven't already that'd be really appreciated and we'll see you in the next one